Okay, we added a little more uh, to our dressing area here, to our table. We're going to open this up some with some curved forceps. We can already see we're going to give birth to a nice cyst in here. This is definitely an epidermoid cyst. You can see the cottage cheesy kind of yogurty kind of stuff coming out of there. Alrighty, so we're going to spread this out just a little bit more. You feeling any pain, bud? Just pulling. Just pulling, that's all you should feel. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to squeeze on this a bit and we're going to empty it. Linda, you don't have to run. This isn't a squirter. This is an oozer. At least I think. There it comes. Looks like a worm coming out of there. What do you think, Linda? Okay. You've seen those before? Not that large. Not that large? We've had bigger. Isn't that right, Gumby I believe you. We have had bigger. So we're just getting the uh, contents emptied first, and then we're going to remove the sack secondarily. Can you see okay? Yes. Good. Thank you, ma'am. Good. Looks like we've done a good job there. Let's see if we can grab onto the sack. Mm. Anxious to see how big it is. Yeah, you know how the sacks are, though. You just don't know. Okay. Yep, we're fairly well scarred in there. So we're going to have to work on it a little bit. So just using scissors technique to spread and snip. We're going to get this sack out of there. The sack has to come out because if we don't get it out, well then the cyst can return. And then Federal will come back after us. Yes, he would. We don't want that, do we? What do you think, Linda? Are you ready to jump in? Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're... <laughs> you, oh, we got more in there than used to oh, come yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. But that's good because what that is, is it's showing us right there, the bottom of the sack. See that? Oh, yes. that's huge. Wow. Yeah. So that's, we just had a big piece of the sack right there just kind of came out. Yeah. It'll do that. Get out, please, man. You got some scissors? Yep, one more little cut there. And what causes something like this to start? Well, Dr. Clem said it starts, it could be an ingrown hair or anything. Yeah, usually it is something like that. A little mm. trauma can do it, a little bump or something. <laughs> Sometimes a little bite will get a little something started and it'll cause a hair to involute. As we say down home. We really don't say that down home. All we say down home is uno mas cerveza por favor. That's what I say. Another beer please. Mm -hmm. Look at that right there. Oh we found more didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah that's why you got to make sure you're all clear. You to make sure that there's nothing left in there because if there is, like we said, it comes back. Oh wow. Yeah, see that piece right there? Wasn't expecting that at all. That is definitely the last of it. That is nice and clean now. Look how nice that looks. It looks fantastic. All right. Flush. A little flush, please. Hard part's over. Federal. A little peroxide flush now. Works for me. A little bit more over here. Misty, we're going to need a number 11. Got it. You got it ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
I'm going to slowly add a little more medicine. There we go. Let me hand that back to you. Thank you. Well, that was a piece of cake. That wasn't that bad, was it? Not bad at all. I'll tell you what. It made my toes curl the other day when I had to get my injection. Uh-oh. My toes are straight. He kept telling me, he kept saying, take a deep breath, and I did. And mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Made me sweat a little bit. Oh, boy. But I guess uh, just being a physician doesn't mean I'm exempt from <laughs> no, having to have that stuff done. No. But I will say this, it's been a real success. I had just about a pain-free weekend. Well, good. I'm just letting this work for a moment, and then I'm going to make an incision. Okay. I don't want to get right across that little punctum. All right, you might feel a little pressure right now, but you should not feel any pain. By the way, you're okay if we videotape your procedure for all our friends on That's fine, YouTube yes. or... Well, not about YouTube. I'm trusting you to do the responsible thing. We're going to do the responsible thing. There we're you gonna, go. We're going to share your excitement here with all our friends around the world. How's that sound? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. That's what I want to hear. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, You can't good. see my face. Do what you got to do. No, we're just going to say this is a springtime nexus. There you go. So we're going to squeeze out some of the fun mm -hmm. stuff here. Yeah, and I don't need to hear about that. Well... I don't have to tell you. Do you want me to tell you that stuff's coming out? Yeah, I assume stuff's coming out. That's what I'm here for. There is a lot of stuff coming out. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to make you feel a whole lot better. So we've got cis contents and pus coming out right now. Hang on, Misty. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. How are you doing you all right, my Misty? Face? I'm doing great. I did not. Okay. I heard you make a little noise there. So mm. that... <laughs> see, if I saw that gunk i'd be making noise too so i don't want to see it a little more pressure there that's all you're gonna do. yeah i feel pressure all right mm. and i'm gonna need the scissors please thank you and i'm gonna need some forceps and some hemostats mm. i like the curved hemostats oh so now we're gonna try to find our way clear mm. of getting this sack out you're gonna have a little sack in there mm -hmm. and if we don't get that sack out this thing can come back on you mm -hmm. we don't like that mm -hmm. And she had to go get a hemostat for me. So that's mm -hmm. okay. You feeling any pain at all? Well, yeah. Where? A little bit. Yeah. You did. Yeah. Let's get a little more lidocaine too, please. Yeah. Ma yeah. I could, when you were squeezing, I could. It got a little painful. We there. can add a little more medicine. That is yeah, not a problem. Let's do that. We don't like pain, do we? Yeah. yeah. Especially when it's going to be cutting and pulling and stuff. I didn't like it when I was feeling it much. Mm -hmm. I sure know you're not going to like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we can just stop for a moment. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. You're very kind. Can you hit the button for me? We'll take a little right. Just a little button, a little red button right over there. there you go. I hear Jenny. I hear Jenny too. She's making a little noise out there. <coughs> She's helping me with some callbacks. I'm really, I'm really Sorry. pleased with that. Okay, I'm ready for a stitch. Okay. Let's do a stitch. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. A little proline here today, a little 5 ethylon or mm -hmm. sure. nylon. Gave me a little one, did you? Did you want a, a large? Nope, okay. it's just fine. Thank All you. right. You comfortable? Mm -hmm. well, we don't have much more to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I brought my chauffeur with me today in case did I didn't feel like driving. Uh, well, you'll be able to drive just fine. Yes. Okay. If you like classic old cars, I brought my 1969 Mach 1 Mustang. It's beautiful. It's out in the parking lot. We well, might just have to take a look at that. Yeah. We'll change your name from springtime to summertime with that. I know, right? It's, it was the first car I ever bought. I was 21 years old, and it's still it's got a beautiful paint job on it. No kidding. It's not the very same car, is it? it no, yes, yeah, the very same car. No we, way. I've just had it repainted. It was the original uh, silver jade, like a light misty green, but now it's bright electric blue with black on the hood. Everybody's going to want to see this. Come it's on. a 351 engine, 69 Mach 1. All right, Linda, your job. Okay. Oops, you want to make a little cut for me there? There we go. Well, you can let Linda do it. Oh, you can do it. You're fine. Linda's job is to get a cop. Uh, picture of your car to go on your video. You want a picture of your car on your video? Absolutely. Because I think everybody's going to want to I see travel that. here in style for this procedure. Awesome. Can I get another 4x4 please? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. 
better. Yeah, you drove in style, didn't you? I did. Does your car have a nickname? Uh, you know, I used to call them Mustang Sally, but that's not very original. No, but it's good. Now I call it the Blue Beauty because it's blue. It didn't used to be blue. Mm -hmm. yep. Champagne-ish kind of misty blue. Mm, no, it, now when it was the Silver Jade, it was a, like a misty green, but now mm -hmm. it's like a bright, bright blue. Bright blue. Okay. I was thinking of the original color. The original color was like a misty green. I think I've seen like that color. Yeah. Getting my doing stitches again. It's been a little while. I haven't been able to do any procedures. All right, Misty. All right. Well, I'm glad I could freshen you're up your skills you're there. Freshening up my skills a little bit. Okay. I haven't been able to do them because uh, because of the pain. Oh. How are you doing? I'm actually doing great. I'm not hurting at all. <laughs> I'm doing good too. Yeah. <laughs> and my patient's doing good that too, which is a that's nice, probably a good thing. It's a nice little bonus, yeah. you know, whenever possible. Uh, we like the patient to be comfortable. Well, as the mm -hmm. the provider, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, how sore will this be later on when all the goodies you put in there wear off? Well, you take mm -hmm. Tylenol or something. You can take a little Tylenol, but you probably won't need it. Well, good. Have you ever had stitches before, like a cut finger or something? You know, uh, one time years and years ago, a few in my finger. Okay. I don't Did, remember it. Yeah, that mm -hmm. probably didn't hurt very much. Yep. Once you get the stitches in, usually you're fine. Yeah. But if you want to take a couple of Tylenol, that'll be fine. Okay. Or acetaminophen for our friends in other parts of the world who don't know our brand names. Mm -hmm. A little cut there, Misty. Yeah. That one was better. Yeah, you did a better cut on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could I get a little hydrogen peroxide on a 4x4? Four four? I don't think you need any more stitches. I think that's going to be more than enough okay. right there. Is that enough? Okay, so what about when I shower, um, cover it up? No, nope, you can shower just fine and it can get wet. Just don't scrub it, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, heck no. Shark I have for no you. desire to scrub it. And if you'll stay real still, we'll get all of this off of you here in just a mm -hmm. second. Yay. Because the hard part's done. Now, you're taking antibiotics. I'm going to want you to keep taking yes. those, right? Yes, yes. yes. And you keep your head right over there. Okay. And we'll put a nice little dressing on this for you. Okay. And now everybody can kind of get an idea where this is on your body mm -hmm. without looking at your pretty smiling face. There you go. Yeah, I'm a little camera shy. That's okay. You did fantastic. Yeah, I really yeah. want to thank you for letting us video your procedure. Oh, of course. I think it turned out great. Anything to help the whatever. Hey folks, are you wondering how to boost your immune system to help protect yourself in cold and flu season? Well, maybe it's time for you to stack up on Meta7. Meta7 ingredients like B12 and B6 are the building blocks to a healthy immune system. In fact, according to health.com, vitamin B12 is a powerhouse. It helps make DNA, nerve and blood cells, and is crucial for a healthy brain and immune system. So if you're over 50, don't eat a balanced diet, or suffer from fatigue and could use a nice boost, then try Meta7 today. Meta 7, I've got more energy, uh, I feel good, I don't have any aches and pains like I usually have, and I notice just more energy with them. Since I spend more energy and more energetic, mm -hmm. I sleep better, so it's been a pretty good product for me. Notice a huge, tremendous energy boost. Before I was really sluggish, I didn't want to do anything, even my work. It showed it, but now since I've been on it, my work is getting completed. Check out the Amazon links in the description below, and you can order today with Amazon Prime. Okay, so you've been taking Cocoa Skin. Been taking Cocoa Skin and uh, Meta7 for probably a year and a half now. Okay. Love them both. I highly recommend them. My skin is great. I feel moisturized. I, I'm, they're wonderful. Take your hat off for me. Oh, I want everybody to see how pretty your skin is. My hair's oily. Oh, your hair is wonderful. So, have you noticed that you've lost some crow's feet or anything like that in particular? Or a little bit, a little yeah, bit? a little bit. Okay, all right, because you do look like I mean, you you're glowing almost. You have a real natural look about you. So, well, wonderful. I'm glad you're liking the Coca Skin and the Meta Seven. Take them both. Highly mm -hmm. recommend it. Thanks. <laughs> Make sure to check out Coco Skin Plus for thicker nails, healthier skin.
and better hair. And check out Meta7 for more energy throughout the day. There are Amazon links in the description below. Do you love Dr. Gilmore's cyst bursting, pimple popping, and infection draining videos? Want to see the extended procedures with never before seen footage, early releases, and no ads? Then support us on Patreon for dozens of HD ad free videos. And don't worry, you can still watch on YouTube for free. But if you want the premium content with no ads, become a patron on Patreon. There's a link in the description.